What's up, DigiDestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar, and today it is another day in the Market Watch. So we're gonna talk about all things going up, down uh, with EX5. It's caused some mass, a few what run-of-the-mill fluctuations. So without further ado, let's get into the video and talk about it. So first off, we have Lydramon the online participation it's going down but there's only eight lit listings of this people have been buying it at a decent rate of pace at like nine dollars eight dollars range which isn't terrible people are picking up at sixes hey if you guys have something about this i'm just interested to see why people are picking this card up i mean yes it is for the armor rush and eventually armor rush should get a new wave of support that's not until anytime soon. On the euro market, though, looking like it's gone zone. You have 9 euros, then 11 euros, 97 cents, 12 euros, and then 12 euros, 95 cents, and it's just gone. So definitely they don't have many left on that market. Metal Greymon Secret Alternate Art. Uh, just holding off. It's sometimes good just to take a look at stuff like this. You got like RF, RFA Gaming. It's got like tw at 12 bucks, three copies. I mean, this is really only played in Mugen if you even play it at one so it's just up to you here just the special europe side looking like 20 euros 20 euros 22 euros 23 euros 34 cents just what it is then looking at a gallimon alternate release special booster 12 dollars um it's just interesting to see where people are picking up S people have started just picking up a little bit just two people but it's had constant sales and that might be just hype for the Royal Knights deck or anything like that. But it's just nothing too crazy out of the ordinary. The card has like 14. It's in like the 15, 14 dollar range. Might could make some decent small profit if you have this just laying around extra in your binder. Oh no. Where did it go? Let's duplicate this tab. And of course I make a mistake. I don't like I always do. Let's see, Gallimon, BT01, we just need to see the BT2. There we go. Here it is, Europe side, holding strong at 15 euros, 15 euros, 44 cents, 16, 17 euros. Just needing only one, I think, would be really what you want it for. Agumon, Alternart, Classic Collection, EX01, going down, which is good to see. This was because, you know, this could search a, a Tamer and an Agumon among them to your hand. You know, it's not a terrible card, but I don't see any benefit in picking this up and just let it fall down. People have been buying it, though, in the last couple days. Just had a couple of people buy it at a couple of dollars at like 10 bucks a pop range. You know, it just gets bought. It's just one of those slow moving cards that just gets bought every once in a while. Europe side looking like eight euros, 10 euros, 10 euros, 99 cents. You know, it's not bad. It's got decent why is there like one for 50 bucks okay oh it's graded nine okay that makes sense where room on alternate art shot up boys and girls and it wasn't just recently it well it was recently it a little bit came from when the banning hit the where room on promo and now we're looking like it's climbing for the alternate art here because of the new support that got announced for where room on or the metal guru online in itself you know, because when this Digimon becomes unsuspended during your main phase, gain one memory. I think that's pretty decent there. As long as you don't do it with the X antibody, you can change it up. It's not bad. And then on play, if you have a tamer play, gain two memory. If you don't, you may play one blue tamer from your hand without paying this cost. Basically a free top Davis coming out. So if you hard play this, it's not bad. I mean, looking at it right now, you're kind of, this is pretty decently good for its pricing. People are still only just buying in the $3. They haven't really took the bait for $8 yet or 13 or higher. But that's up to you what you want to do with that information. Europe side looking like 3 euros 80 cents, 3 euros 89 cents, 3 euros 90 cents, 3 euros 95 cents. Okay, it's all there. Balfamon Rage Mode Alternate Art still climbing after this weekend. George definitely put in the work, topped three events over the weekend in the top eight at least minimum with Balfamon. so definitely showing the decks got some crazy shenanigans you can play with so it's good to see that europe side looking like 
33 euros 40 cents 31 euros 11 cents five copies yeah if you want to max rarity it it's not going to be cheap quartz bond across time still climbing up bloom hydra quartz is definitely still showing its face but also you do have hunters showing their ugly face about this card too so just keep that in mind europe side looking like six euros 50 cents six euros 59 cents seven euros seven euros 25 cents yeah X amount alternate versus Royal Knights climbing up boys and girls even though it's a one of it's not even played in the X amount deck you're you're looking like it's still being bought people want to max rarity Royal Knights and I don't blame them that gold border and everything like that is just really nice and clean and it would make a nice wall art on your upside nine euros ten euros uh, just needing one you're decently valued there because Kazuo Aman uh, alternate alternate being exo4 regular art people are buying it in the four dollar range stuff like that people have been buying consistently there might be a deck in the future that does something so just keep this on your radar watch as it keeps coming on market there's plenty of stock here it's nothing too crazy but there's a consistent buy rate europe side looking like six euros 50 cents six euros 90 cents 70 seven euros seven euros seven euros 49 cents I mean, just to get a playset from one seller, you're looking like eight euros a pop. So eight euros times four. Yeah, that's kind of expected there. Amiman Zawart definitely shot up over the week, like been climbing slowly, which is surprising to me. And people are buying it. Is this because of the Balfamon deck? Or is there something else that I don't know of? I think I'm just betting on the Balfamon, and that's about it. But with Omnimon Zawart, you definitely looks like you're gonna make some decent money so if this has been sitting around in your binder for a while and you guys need some extra cash six dollars and fifty cents isn't something to scoff at maybe move it on your upside looking like two euros two euros 35 cents two euros 40 cents three euros i mean just to get a play set from one seller looks like four euros a pop or you know or you could do get get three for three euros a pop and then pick up the fourth one for three euros too so definitely there's multiple ways to get a place out of this guru mon promo do not touch this with a 10-foot pole i am warning you right now do not buy into this hype price because it's getting reprinted in the reprint booster in september you'll have a foil version coming out and this card will tank do not buy into the hype i know that it's so easy for ex or guru mon you want to get but don't waste your money uh, Europe side looking like six euros 99 cents seven euros eight euros 98 cents uh, just nine euros basically for three copies and then pick up another one for nine euros basically or you're just gonna be expect paying outrageous prices don't fall into this pit hole uh, metal groom on X antibody alternate art um, has only eight listings left people went on a little buy craze it seems in the last 24 hours uh, no surprise there just because now the new support is actually fantastic I'm not surprised here you know you get thirty dollars and 74 cents you know people are gonna build this deck without a doubt um your side 10 euros 10 euros 10 euros 11 euros 95 cents so nothing really has happened on the Europe side you could easily get your first place at a 12 euros 90 cents basically 13 euros a pop and then times it by four so you'll at least get it for what 26 euros times two is 52 dollar 52 euros which isn't bad to get your play set uh kodemon digimon promotional card two dollars and 66 cents and climbing boys and girls so if you've had this sitting around in your binder when it was like 60 cents time to make some decent profit headway people are buying this at this price and they're showing a consistent buy rate so at least a couple every day or so so definitely think about that it'll definitely keep climbing especially with the new newer newer support uh looking like one euro one euro europe side's got it for dirt cheap uh their first real play set though is three euros a pop so they're kind of in our borrow park range if you need a play set lilith mon second anniversary almost gonzo eight eight listing eight listings plenty of copies but it's holding strong in that $20 range, and it's just going to go up from there. Europe side looking like €8.50. You can get a play set for €10 Euros a pop, so $40. Not bad. Taiga. Taiga's shot up too, boys and girls, Just even just for the rare. It's a rare. 
yes, it's in the set with Dimensional Phase BT11. Who, who knew that this set was just going to be this expensive when you screw around with ratios? $3 a pop is like your only way of getting a play set of this. Europe side looking like 25 cents, 48 cents, 50 cents. Nobody's really got a play set until you're in the $3 range. Wow. X Antibad Altenar from the starter deck. Oh, seeing some bump here. That's just a little bit of hype. People are buying into it with Metal Gurumon craze. But, boys and girls, I would not get too crazy about it. I think it has a lot of potential. And don't don't think you're going to be investing into the new one. It doesn't have any protection. Just reread the card. A lot of people have been assuming it has protection. And that's the problem. No protection in that card. So, this one's still decently better. Europe side, 4 euros. 4 euros, 80 cents. 5 euros. 5 euros. Okay. Debbie Mon starter deck, similar to that promo full art. People are buying this up, and that is just because of Balfamon support. So if you guys have this sitting around in your boxes and binders and stuff like that, time to move it. $3 a pop is not bad. Your upside, $0.70, cents, $0.80, cents, $0.90. Cents. You know, this came from the starter deck. No surprise here. Jumbo Ga Game Mon uh, shot up $4. Four listings left, and it's basically Gonzo, and it's all in the $10 range. Only one top deck TCG. Let's see. Nope. So it's about a $10 card, boys and girls. It's not this $3.70. I hate listings like that, but you know what? Hey, I mean, this is all just because of Chessmon hype, and that's it's not a good deck. It's not winning anything. Uh, 50 cents, 90 cents, a dollar. Yeah, one euro. Not terrible. Lonke Aristado being bought out again. People are buying it. Would not recommend it we got the promo coming from the event pack so it's not worth it your upside um looking like four euros four euros 50 cents yeah not worth it x pro miram bought out yet again i don't know who's the crazy guy that thinks this card is worth it i mean hey you could tech it in your royal knights deck but for eight removal it's just not worth it <laughs> you know I mean, it has it. It helps with the meta, but at the same time, it's an eight cost removal. You know, it is what it is. Uh, looking like one euro, one euro forty five cents, one euro eighty five cents, two euros. Yeah, and that's about all that we need to talk about for the market watch. So, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you next one. Peace.